Hello, my artists. I know that we are learning virtual right now, and I wanted to do a quick video to tell you about the newest project that you're going to be doing. So, we're going to be learning about an artist who is um, who's dead, but he was born not terribly long ago. Well, kind of. It was like the same time that my great grandma would be born. Okay, he was born in 1886, and he was born in Germany. But there was something unique about him because his mom was from France. So she was French, she spoke French, and his dad was from Germany and spoke German. So when he was growing up, he had two parents, that were from two very different cultures. And that's really important uh, for him because what it made was it made him be happy and excited about all cultures in the world. So once he started as an adult working with artists, he really valued art from all over. So there is something else I wanna tell you about um, him. He was a poet. So he liked writing. I love writing too. It's also a very creative side. And he was also a sculptor. So if you've ever been someplace and you've seen a sculpture that is just a shape, it's called non-representational art. So it doesn't mean to represent anything specific, but it might make you think of something. That is what Hans Arp, people in the art world will just refer to him as Arp, that is what he liked to do the most. So now I'm going to break into your next video to show you your project and explain it a little bit further. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you some of these. I am so sorry, I forgot. So these images that you're seeing right now on your screen are either images of Arp himself or pieces of his art. So he loved to create with shapes and paper. And many of these you might think look like something. But that's not what he was trying to do. He was trying to just make shapes and then leave the ideas to the artist about, or the, the viewer, I'm sorry, of the art um, what are they? What do they look like to you? What do they make you think of? Okay, sometimes they look like people, sometimes they don't. So his art leaves the thinking to the viewer, and that's really kind of cool. So these are pieces that I wanted to show you before I go into your second video. Thanks.